Hello, I'm Dan, and welcome to my Camping Legend series on Wandering Mystic. Today I'm going to walk you through my install of quick release latches on our Intex Soul Dust Camper for the front LP gas tank cover. This may work with other Intex models as well. Confirm fitment ahead of time. First, remove the original black pins from behind the cover. Installing the quick release pins will eliminate the need for the cotter pins to hold the cover in place. Install the new stainless steel latch pins using the new hardware that came with your kit. Now would be a good time to say, if you're not comfortable with your ability to do this kind of install, perhaps you'd be better off hiring a professional to do this one for you. You, the viewer, assume all liability and risk should you choose to do this install yourself. Now we're at the point of no return. Time to drill out the rivets that hold the black metal discs to the front of your cover. There's some metal beads that hold the rivets in place, and I found they wouldn't drill out, but the drill dislodged them and they dropped down. I then ended up cutting the pins on the back side with wire cutters and compressing the pins. I then wrangled them back out the front. This was the only difficult part of the install for me. Cover the holes on the back of the cover using painters or masking tape. Use a paint pen to put wet paint on the ball tip on the newly installed stainless steel pins. Now quickly, so the paint won't dry, carefully put the bottom of the cover in place. Triple check your double check to make sure the bottom of the cover is seated and the sides are precisely aligned. This is critical to getting your latches centered. Use something pointy to punch a hole in the tape through the center of the paint mark. Place painter's tape on the front of the cover to protect the finish. Punch the hole through the front tape as well. Using a circle template, ruler, compass, or some other device to measure precise diameter of the outside of the threads on the back of the latch. This will determine the size of the hole you will cut to slide the latch through. We'll be using a Dremel today and diamond grinding bits. I feel they don't clog up as quickly as the sandpaper bits. It's a bit of overkill for plastic, but is it really? Scribe the circle for the hole centered on the hole punched in the tape. After you've marked both sides, this is your last chance to quadruple check. Measure the two circles from the top and sides of the cover to see if they are close to each other. Last chance, did you check? We'll be grinding the hole with the Dremel. We will not be cutting too quickly. We're gonna take our time and ease the hole open, making sure we remove all of the black marking. Ease towards the edge of the circle. You can't put material back, so stop often and check fit.
clamp ring threads onto the back of the push latch. Tighten securely and then thread the shortest of the set pins into some of the holes for the supplied Allen wrench. Now for the fiddly part. Just hand tighten the nuts on the stainless pins for now. I found I had to almost put the pin at its shortest with only a couple of threads showing on the front. Take your time. I made it too tight at one point and the snaps, well they became bursnickety. Once you get a fit you like, tighten the nut on the back side of the pin while holding the front nut steady with a long socket or wrench. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more content, like, subscribe, and alert. The algorithms will love you for it.